Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome. This is a Explain to your video creator video file system management uh, tutorial. Uh, I've published a few uh, zips and then some others have done the same. Uh, and it seems that some of the errors you're getting are because either the files inside of the zip are not in a folder or like what I've done, I've combined some SWFs and a zip inside of a zip. And that has caused some confusion. So what I'm going to do is show you a little bit of basics about file management and then um, show you how this zip structure works and uh, give you a recommendation. Um, if anybody downloads the recent one, uh, this is what it looks like when you download it. Okay, just so you know uh, what file we're talking about for this video. But the technique works for any of them. Okay. So let's step back for a second and take a look at what we're dealing with. Now this is the Explainio Video Creator 2 directory inside of the program files folder that's on your C drive. Okay. Um, for those that feel a little squeamish about messing around on the computer, um, this is not going to hurt anything. You know, if you do what you see me do here, you'll be okay. If you explore and go further, you are on your own. Okay, so please do not, at least not right now, until you get some knowledge or have some other training. But what I'm going to show you how to do is, because what I do is I don't install any of the monthlies or anything else. I unzip the zip, go into the folder, and copy it in there myself. So I've made all these folders myself, and I put slides in there myself. I didn't install these. I just unpacked the zip. A lot of these are in there. You just copy them in. Some I didn't copy in because I know I didn't need them. I can go, I've gone into some of these and taken some out because I know I'm never going to use them. And as you see, a lot of these aren't even named, you know, so what, what, what the hell are they? So what I do for ones that I like, need, and use, I will go in the folder and name them so I know what they are. And uh, eventually, like what I'm going through now is, I shouldn't have three, two corporate folders, it should be one. And the only thing that should be in that one are slides that I need or like right now. Uh, I can always stash them on a, on a um, external drive, you know, get a two terabyte drive and put all your stuff on there that you're not going to use. Because eventually, if you're getting the monthlies, your C drive is going to fill up. And the performance of, of your computer is going to go down. So if you have a file strategy right now, you can avoid having that as a problem because really you're not going to use all of those slides, you know, some, and if you need them later on down the line, just copy the folder back in here and then they're there, you know, and then even with your modifications or whatever, you can copy that folder back out to the drive and eliminate it from here to save yourself some space and you'll make things a lot faster when you're searching through, you know, because how many times do you have to pass a bunch of them that you don't need in order to get to the ones you want, you know? Uh, and if you go and consolidate some folders, then everything that you normally use can be in a folder. Like these three right here are going to be consolidated, you know? But the problem is I need to go in and name them because you, you can't really tell what they are, you know? So that is one of the things that's going to be necessary. Now, I couldn't combine these two because the file names are the same. That's the problem right there. So I'd have to go in and rename them and come up with a strategy. If I knew what they actually did or came up with ways to describe that, then I can consolidate them and have some kind of order. Um, that's one of the problems with trying to use software to sort this, uh, these files because a lot of them have the same names in different folders. So there's no way to really categorize them. But once they're all unique, uniquely named, or at least named in such a way so there is a way to differentiate one from the other, then you can have some kind of database that will um, will be able to not allow you to search or anything against them and then use metadata to you know, track them and everything like that. So this is just one step towards that. But <clears throat> The, I'm inside the slide folder. See, here's the month eight stuff. Now, see, here's another kinetic typography folder. I would just combine that with the other one, but the way I'd name the internal files, you would know uh, some kind of way that it was either associated with month eight or something else. So that's a organizing strategy for the, for the slides folder. Now, the other one that gets pretty huge is the SVG folder because you get in the SVG, so you just, when you install it, 
it uses the name of the folder that's inside of the zip and it just copies it right in here you can do that yourself and then you can combine some of these things uh, and organize them a little bit better but you cannot do folder and folder see this is the only folder label you layer you can have once you go inside that folder it better be some files there or you're not gonna be able to see anything okay but the a lot these I consolidated because they were some of these had two and three of the same kind of folders and I just put them all together as as the one but th this is more like standing poster or business and this is something different I believe athletic and that's why they're separated otherwise it just doesn't make any sense to have all these folders you know these are actually a duplicate of the niche folders I already have above. And I need to get rid of these, but I just kept them there to make sure before I did that. But as you can see, how many, you know, after a year, this is going to be a huge folder as well as a slide folder. So plan ahead. Now I'm showing you all this just to let you know that if you get a zip file, open it. I mean, even if you're going to install it, open it and see what's inside. Generally what you will see is this is the folder that I put up on the uh, uh, Facebook file section recently so double click that and here's what you got you got the uh, these SWFs and this one that can be installed okay so now if you unpack that into a folder then this this zip here you can use the uh, the import thing in Explandio and it will just import in there or you can just double click it yourself and inside of there is the folder okay so all you'd have to do is drag this folder out okay and then go into the slides folder right and then just drag this in here I always drag it down here so I'm not dragging it inside any other folder and look at there see it's in now it's in line so there it is. So now I can go into Explainio and those files are available to me. I didn't have to go through the install process and this way if I want to I can just change this just to say proof sheets because I don't need all the other stuff you know not for me. So there it is right there you know. So that's I just wanted to show that because uh, there were some people that were having a bit of a trouble figuring out the file system I might just been concerned didn't want to put things in the wrong place and I don't blame you but it, feel free go into the SVG folder copy your SVGs you know they need to be in a folder of their own and that folder gets copied into the SVG folder okay same thing with the slides when you're unpacking them you put that folder inside the slides folder just but you don't want to you don't want to drop inside of another folder or it's, it'll disappear you never see it in there from the program and uh, this is, you know, where all the, the hands are. Um, and these images, these are where SWFs can go. Okay. Uh, the SWFs I have here in this package, I would, I actually would put them in another folder outside because they're, you know, custom stuff or specific. But you can't, if, to keep your organization straight, the images folder is where the standard uh, SWFs are. Because this is the, explain to your characters they're in the images folder these are all SWFs you know the, the people that you know and love um, so you can put your SWFs in here by creating a folder and then just put it in here you know proslipacks.com freebies or Rick Neal freebies or whatever you want to call them and just you know that way when you get the button in explain to you for it says flash animation just come to this folder and you know this is where your SWFs and other images are because these are monthly JPEG images that come with the kit you know so uh, but they're all in the images folder so don't be scared to take a zip apart and see what's inside of it and then copy that information over now the one caveat is that if you're a Mac user it is recommended that Mac users don't replace folders. You just replace the contents from one to the other. So you'd go in on a Mac, I'm told, you'd go into the images folder, create a folder inside of here, and then copy the stuff inside of that folder. Now, I don't have a Mac anymore. I used to be 
serious into the Macs, but uh, work says PC, so I got to go where the money is. Um, but you might want to try that and look in the Mac forums and see if that's true. But that's some of the other instructions I've seen when they give you the instructions to install for Windows and for Mac. And some of these professional companies, even Adobe, I believe, you said this is that you don't want to copy over existing folders. You just want to copy contents into or out of or delete out of the folder once it's created in the directory structure. Um, again, I'm not a Mac person, so I'm not sure what the logic is behind that, but others may be able to help me with that one. Anyway, I just wanted to show you how moving files around is really not a scary deal. Uh, what I do is I have shortcuts, so I know when I see this this directory structure, I can click here. Now I have all these shortcuts. So these I got all my videos I can get to right there, or I can go to my SWFs, and there they are right there. You know I can go to some some of the stuff I'm working on. You know so the, these shortcuts make it easy. Once I make a video, I can go right there and look at some of the videos I've made make some shortcuts for yourself so that you can make float around your drive a lot easier but don't be as don't be afraid of organizing you need to have some way of putting all these files in a place where they'll make sense to you and you don't have to have every single file every single slide every single SVG in your C drive otherwise you are going to have problems eventually you know so it's going to fill up you don't have an infinite amount of space. So if you have a one terabyte or two terabyte external or even a 500 gigabyte external, move some of that stuff over there that you know you're not going to use. If you need it, copy it back over. When you're done with it, delete it. But you'll still have the copy on your external drive. So, and then I also, I burn these zip files to a, a DVD. That way, if the drive fails, I still have the zip. You know, I may have to go back and do all the organizing again, but I still have my files. So that keeps you safe because there are a lot of files coming. You know, you get a lot of files every month. So and then you're getting files for myself and others on the board. And, you know, so where are you going to put all this stuff? So if you organize it um, and just do it regularly, don't put it off. Use, use your Sunday afternoons or Saturday nights, depending upon what you do. And just, you know, copy some stuff over. I went out and got a, a Blu-ray burner, you know, 25 gigabytes of disk. You know, so that way I can just, you know, uh, copy stuff and make sure I have it. Uh, and that way, you know, if the hard drive craps out, I still have the disk. Because the disk is going to last longer than the hard drive for sure. So, and I don't see Blu-ray players going away anytime soon. So I'll always have access. So I just thought I would uh, just share some of the information and just try to encourage people to uh, explore a little bit and learn your file structure directory and know what's inside of the Explaindio Video Creator 2 folder and know how everything works in there. Um, the one feature that I'm going to get to later on is this the canvas texture. There's a little button in the, con in the canvas that says paper and you can put canvas in here that will show up in your screen. So if you want to have grids or whatever you can put them in here and then just choose them work out what you need to work out and then go back to the regular uh, flat screen and, and it's, it's really cool I've also come up with a couple of things that show you animation points so if you place your text in the right place when the animation happens it'll point to that text or point to that picture um, because one thing we don't have is a grid to map out where we are so uh, working on that trying to get something together anyway don't be afraid. Come on in and check out your file system. All right. Thank you very much, everybody.